Hi everyone, my name is Julie Stebbe. I write the Analytics Corner blog focusing on data engineering and analytics with Alteryx and Spotfire. If you don't really want to watch a video, you can find the written version of this post on my website shown on the screen. If you learned something today, please do me a favor and share this link on social media or subscribe to my channel. This week we're going to talk about how to programmatically remove columns that have all null or zero values from your Alteryx workflow. First, I'll show you my use case, and then I'll explain the solution in a general way, and lastly, I'll dive into the details. So let's talk about that use case. When drilling and completing wells, we receive data from service providers in CSV format. The format and columns in the CSVs differ by vendor, but they still need to be combined into one table. And so ultimately, I union together the results of several batch macros to make that happen. And what you're looking at on the screen is one of the batch macros. And my final table will contain over 400 columns. And many of those columns contain only zero or null values. And, the, and thus, the entire column can be removed. I don't need it. However, I have no way of knowing which columns will be null or zero. So I need a way to programmatically remove them. The solution I have for this problem is in this container right here that says deal with null or zero. And I'm using a five-step process that hinges on an auto field tool and a dynamic select tool. The auto field tool reads through all records and for a given column, it will set the field type to the smallest possible size relative to the data that's contained within that column. Now, while that doesn't seem terribly helpful, what you might not realize is that if all of the values are null, it will set the data type to Boolean. And from there, you can use the dynamic select tool to remove all Boolean data type fields. And that will programmatically remove all columns where your values are null. So let's look at the details of my process. And it starts with a multi-field formula tool that's going to convert all of the zeros to null. They need to be null for the auto field tool to do its thing. And you'll notice that I have selected all text fields and that my expression accounts for zero as a string in a number of different ways. So why did I do that? Why didn't I convert these columns to numbers first to make this easier and more foolproof instead of having to type in zero, zero, dot, zero, zero, et cetera? Well, I had to do it this way for two reasons. First, when reading data in from a CSV, Alteryx imports all columns as string data types. And I left them as strings because as you'll see in uh, my next tool, the auto field tool only converts string data types. If I change the data types to numbers, the process doesn't work. So after the multi field formula tool, this is where I have my auto field tool. And you can see I have tons of columns here. And you can also see at the top, it says select string fields to auto change field type. If my columns were numeric, I wouldn't be able to use this tool at all. After the auto field tool, I have a select tool. And this is so that you can confirm and see that the strings are converted to numbers. And, and just for purpose of illustration, I'll click on a select tool higher up and you can see that everything is a string. Once it goes through the auto field, now I have numbers and then where I have all null values, the data type has been changed to Boolean. The date time tool that I have after the select isn't really relevant to the process. I'm just doing a bit of processing for a particular column. And then we move on to my dynamic select tool. And here you can see that I have selected everything except for the Boolean data types. And so anything of this data type is not going to be passed through the workflow. It'll actually be removed. And then I wrap things up with another multi field formula tool. This time looking at all of my newly numeric fields and I'm converting all of my nulls into zeros. It's just a personal preference. This might be an optional step for you. And before I wrap up, I just want to note that if you have valid Boolean data type columns, you'll want to perform this process in a separate stream of the workflow, kind of where you break apart the Booleans that you know you want to keep from those that you would potentially remove. I don't have any Boolean data types that I need to keep, so this worked perfectly for me. And this is how you can programmatically remove columns whose values are all zero or null. Next week, I'll explain how I used a file directory tool and a batch macro to merge all of those CSVs with different schemas. And again, if you like this content, please share on social media. Thank you.